Welcome to COVID Comms, episode 12. I'm Clifford Morgan, an organizational psychologist who is helping you navigate, survive, and move towards thriving throughout this COVID-19 crisis. Today, we're talking fatigue management. I've had a question come in from Glenn around managing fatigue. And firstly, thank you so much, Glenn, for your question. But secondly, and more importantly, I happen to know that Glenn is an emergency department nurse at a hospital here in Brisbane. A massive shout out to you and all your medical colleagues who are on the front line and don't get an option to avoid this virus, but are out there helping those that have it. Thank you so much for all that you do. Managing fatigue is a massive issue at the moment, not only for our medical personnel, but also for our business community and others in organizations and industries. There are many people pulling massive hours at the moment, trying to keep their companies alive and identify the solutions that they need to navigate through this crisis. And I know for me, I've been pulling some pretty late nights trying to put these videos together just to help all of you. But in all of this, we all need to make sure we maintain our sleep. Today, I'm gonna to be talking about the mindset that we need to protect our sleep, and tomorrow, I'm going to be talking about some of the things that we can do in order to sleep better. So first of all, the first thing we need to understand is that sleep is not just about our energy levels. Our brains are part of our bodies, and if our bodies are tired and run down, then our minds physiologically don't have the opportunity to operate at their full potential. Did you know that if you get less than six hours sleep two nights in a row, your drop in cognitive performance can be up to 30%. And if you get less than six hours sleep three nights in a row, your drop in performance can be the same as if you're above the blood alcohol limit. See, at the moment, we need to be making good decisions. We need to be maintaining high levels of mental vigilance and accessing high levels of creativity. This can only happen if our minds are operating at their full potential. And if that is to happen, then we need to be getting our sleep. There's another myth that many of us operate by, even though we know in our heads it's not true. And that is that in any given day, if I work longer, I'm gonna get more done. Usually, working longer hours means sleeping less. It's like the two woodcutters who set out to see who would cut down the most trees in a single day. Now, there was one younger man and one older man, and they both felled their first tree at the same time, at which point the younger man moves straight on to his next tree. The older man, however, sat down to take a rest and sharpen his ax. Now, that pattern repeated itself throughout the remainder of the day. Each time the younger man fell the tree, he would move straight onto the next tree. He was taking less breaks and working much harder than the older man. However, what happened was that the time he took to cut down a tree started to get longer and longer. By the end of the day, the older man had cut down 10 trees to the younger man's seven. See, each swing of his ax became more and more effective than the younger man's because his ax was periodically being sharpened. And the rest that he took throughout the day meant he was able to maintain a consistent pace. At the moment, we need our minds to be as sharp as possible. Whether or not it's to ensure we administer the correct dosage of drugs in a hospital setting, or to come up with new innovative and creative ways to engage our customers, or even make strategic decisions that are going to have implications over the next decade. We need to stay as sharp as possible and getting enough sleep is like taking a whetstone to our ax and sharpening it. In reality, difficult times require hard work and long hours. There are no two ways around it. However, you can only keep burning the candle at both ends for a short period of time. It is unsustainable, especially with the time frames that we're talking about to see the back end of COVID-19. It is better for you to put in a nine hour day operating at 100% capacity rather than doing 14 hours worth of work only at 70%. If you want to stay sharp, if you need to be as effective as possible, if you want to do as much as possible, you need to get your sleep. And if you're a leader, you need to make sure that your team is getting their sleep too. Hey, what's the biggest insight that you've got from watching this video? I'd love for you to put it in the comments. And if you know someone who's burning the midnight oil, then they need to hear this message as well. Please share it amongst your network. 
Tomorrow, we're going to talk about some of the things that you can do to get better sleep during this time. So stay tuned for more COVID comms, and until then, lead well.